Hi everyone, uh, Fusbah Hamar Shah with you. Uh, our uh, subject today uh, is about uh, a flatbed solar uh, collector field or network for the assistance of uh, uh, solar still uh, distillation uh, for desalination uh, purposes. Uh, first of all, you have to open your MATLAB first and uh, go to your uh, model folder from here, from this from this path okay okay yes you have to set your uh, this is for example my own uh, working folder so i have to go to my uh, model folder from here and this is a click here and sort by name and the group by type so you will find everything is uh, organized let's go for uh, version 2 and we have here a dynamic version if we intended to working on a dynamic uh, model with uh, with respect to the time limit okay uh, drag and drop okay uh, this is our main model it's about uh, flat bed solar field for the assistance of uh, distillation process solar dist distill okay um, all you have to do is to uh, set your simulation time into zero and uh, click here okay everything is fine okay uh, we have to choose our flatbed solar field network okay we have to select some input parameters uh, in order to organize our main model uh, first of all uh, um, you have to refer to my previous videos about solar steel we have many videos about solar steel and how can we uh, adjust our main inputs this is our main inputs uh, briefly uh, this is your glass area basin area uh, uh, still widths and, uh, and lens. Um, we are going to use uh, uh, solar still without buffer. Okay, there is no buffer here. Absorptivity, uh, emissivity. Okay, and some uh, uh, losses. Uh, uh, okay, and cost parameters you can uh, assign from here. Okay. Uh, if you intended to, to work on this alone, you can copy this one, okay, briefly, okay, control C or uh, copy it and open a new model, okay, and go here and you can paste it here, okay, and set your simulation time into zero and uh, control M or right click, right click and go to the mask and edit mask. For mask, you have to open your parameters. Solar, is, solar radiation, you have to make it enable and visible. And you can set your solar radiation limit. Okay, you can set, suppose it's up to only 1000 watt per meter square. You can minimum and maximum from here. Uh, what is your um, uh, ambient temperature? Make it enable and visible. Okay, let's emphasize enable and visible. Elliot water temperature because these parameters are, uh, uh, are coming from the streams uh, or the streams that coming from the solar field. So uh, I uh, already disabled it, but I, I have to enable it, it back again because I am intended to working on this one uh, only. Uh, wind speed, yes, you have to enable it. Uh, a feed flow rate, you have to uh, enable it okay you can set your uh, uh, limit from here maybe 0.01 if you would like okay the rest is okay and set okay so now i enabled everything uh, go inside i'm sorry uh, just um, let's go here for uh, model uh, let's click view model browser and show model browser because I, I, I need to go inside uh, the main block. Okay, and go here. Okay, this is main inputs. So these are uh, main two inputs coming from the solar field. It's uh, uh, outlet solar field temperature and flow rate through the solar field uh, going towards uh, uh, the. Uh, 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 solar still so you can delete this you can delete this. there's no need for this one you can delete this because we already assigned our main input you can delete this and you have to enable this as you can see here this is a comment on this one uncomment uncomment for wind speed 
and I'm coming for uh, ambient temperature okay uh, so we have to delete this also okay well, let's delete this let's connect for ambient temperature this is your ambient temperature I will delete routing delete this one and put ambient temperature here okay and when the speed any temperature is we have to uncomment and delete this one and connect any temperature okay and let's delete this there is no need because it's input and let's go for wind speed one solar radiation only two parameters left okay let's go here uh, solar radiation delete this one okay delete this one there is no need for it and with the speed let's connect uh, so your model will be working as a standalone uh, application now and you can save your uh, your model okay you can save your model you can uh, also be sure that you can go here and uh, let's go for uh, optimization uh, diagnostic okay uh, none minimize algebra, algebraic loop none okay it apply and okay uh, now your model is is ready now it's a standalone application it's standalone application as you can see here realize that we showed uh, ambient temperature and the water temperature uh, and the elite feed uh, flow rate ever during the speed okay uh, everything is its proper place okay and if you hit run it should be in uh, in working unless i forget yes i maybe i forget to connect something okay uh and the temperature let's go here and try to assign something yes it's okay a flow rate uh okay I think now it's it's fine. It can work. It can yes. Flow rate. I forget to connect flow rate. Let's delete this one and uncomment flow rate and connect this one. And let's head on back again and see. Yes, it's working. And you can collect your results uh, uh, very well. Okay. I will not going to save this. I will delete. Uh, just a, a demonstration about how to disconnect your solar field with uh, solar distal okay you, you can do it um, by following my steps uh, carefully let's delete this one not to save this one okay let's return it back so here uh, i intended to control uh, um, solar radiation uh, wind speed ambient temperature from outside uh, uh, for as a main block so as you can see here these uh, parameters uh, are going to send uh, their data to uh, solar still and for uh, uh, the uh, flap lit solar field because there is a common uh, uh, common uh, parameters between post models this is we have two different models but there is a common between these uh, solar radiation wind speed ambient temperature uh, are uh, common parameters between post models so I will control this uh, uh, in uh, uh, at once at the same time uh, by just uh, one click and uh, let's go here if you double click you will realize that uh, there is the the inlet feed mass flow rate solar radiation wind speed are disappeared operating conditions there is no operating conditions because I uh, disabled this okay now uh, let's go for the uh, for solar field let's go for the solar field okay uh, for the solar field, just double clicking here, and you can select between uh, many uh, uh, four types of uh, connections. Is it a single flap solar field, uh, uh, series connection, no more than two, okay, no more than two because the effect on uh, temperature for the solar flat billet collector is not recommended by uh, going through a series connection. Yes, it can be in uh, in parabolic solar field, parabolic trough solar field, for larger area, because a solar flap collector is not going to deliver 
uh, more than 80 degrees Celsius or 70 degrees Celsius because it's uh, the concentration ratio of such technology is very low. It's n normally around one. And for uh, parallel connection, yes, we can increase parallel connection, can increase uh, connections up to uh, uh, 500, uh, 5 uh, co connection in parallel, 100 connection in parallel, depending on uh, how uh, how much uh, uh, thermal power are going to, uh, to, to utilize. For example, uh, suppose we the load is uh, a swimming swimming pool or a larger area or something like this. And for a network, we have uh, a two multiplied by three in parallel. Okay. Suppose I, I need a single one. Let's go here. Surely you can. Let's go inside. Okay. This is a single one. This is two in series, two in parallel. Just an example. And we have here three in parallel multiplied or two in series multiplied by three in parallel. Uh, let's go inside and see if this is the code for the first one and this is two in series for this one is the flow rate and flow and outlet temperature are going to be transferred from the first one to the second one and for here um, number of collector is uh, uh, can decide uh, or can you, you, we can divide the, the flow rate and temperature over uh, between uh, these two uh, units number one and number two as you can see here uh, surely you can copy this you can copy you can copy this and just to drag and drop here as you can see here and you can add you can add but don't forget to add this also you can add this okay to add you can add here add another one okay you can add another one here you can add plus sign uh, I would like to disturb this, but anyway, let's go here, okay, and add this one here. And for this, you can connect here. And don't forget to divide on the number of parallels. We have now four, for, for, the, for example, double clicking and make this four. Uh, okay, now I, I, I hit apply. Now I, I, I intended to return it back again and return everything to its uh, original case. Okay, uh, let's remove this. Okay, deleting, and this one is only uh, three. Okay, hit apply and okay. I'm just showing you how to uh, manipulate your uh, system. Okay, now uh, don't forget to, if you look inside, as you can see, this is your solar state. Try to return it back to our previous videos about this, about solar state. We have many videos about this. Double clicking here, you will, you will get the code, that uh, code, uh, physical properties and everything. With tags, as you can see, here is a tag for everything. You can uh, utilize this in your uh, work and uh, for let's go for uh, don't forget we we already choose to connect single uh, flappable collector let's go for this one <coughs> my i'm sorry <coughs> okay uh, for this one double clicking we, we already assigned solar radiation suppose it's uh, as you can see the changing here that's changing it's 500 for example we can uh, increase or decrease and uh, when the speed uh, when the speed here this one just one click and uh, move uh, your dial as you can see here when the speed and ambient temperature okay you can decrease it or, or increase it okay suppose it's 19 or 18 degrees Celsius and saving okay uh, for this one um, okay we choose uh, okay one <coughs> one could uh, one single uh, flap billet solar feed okay inside this menu inside this this is the main menu this is a, uh, a second menu uh, you can menu number two double clicking here you can choose uh, 24 hour if you intended to go through uh, storage 
What is your inlet feed temperature? Uh, so the solar feed. Uh, suppose I have uh, 27 degrees Celsius, 25, 30 degrees Celsius, up to you. Mass flow rate, you can change this. Uh, suppose you would like to uh, change this by just control M or right click here, right click here and going to the mask, edit mask and going to the parameters, okay. And for uh, mass flow rate, with, yes, this is mass flow rate, you can change the limits and we can select edit. Um, this is a slider, you can select edit. If you would like to enter a value, a specific value, with, without any change in, uh, in flow rate. So I, I keep this, I, I stick myself with this, uh, with this because I change it to use this when, uh, uh, with respect to the time domain. And uh, okay, let's go here for, uh, what is your flat bit solar field area? What is your number of glass cover? tilt angle we have a, a already a video about this you have to refer to many videos about flat plate solar collector how can we extract our results how can we uh, save our results uh, outside matlab in excel sheets or or controlling by the using a signal builder you have to refer to uh, my previous videos about that i, I can keep this in uh, in description section uh, i'll keep the links in uh, description section if you intended to uh, utilize that okay uh, keep everything as it was and you can change your uh, spacing uh, tube diameter uh, uh, plate fin thickness um, it's up to you okay saving sa simulation time to to zero and hit run and see okay i finished okay as you can see here this is your storage volume uh, plate temperature outlet temperature is nearly 40 because it was at 27 so it raised up to uh, 40 degrees celsius mean plate temperature uh, useful energy storage energy losses to the ambient overall heat loss heat removal factor for efficiency uh, efficiency solar collector efficiency at this point exergetic uh, this is exergy efficiency or irreversibility exergy i'm sorry this is exergy destruction this is your exergy efficiency and total exergy and to the uh, solar field let's go for uh, this is your output going to the solar cell from uh, flat black collector number one to the solar still okay we need only uh, outlet temperature and mass flow rate if you're going inside the solar still you will find that this is the stream coming from the solar field and temperature and uh, uh, flow rate okay as you can see here uh, 39 only 40 mainly 40 nearly 40 and this is your field uh, flow rate that you already assigned you already assigned so and let's go here for so the inlet was nearly uh, 40 degrees Celsius and this is your output from the solar still let's go here and emphasize uh, convection heat uh, don't forget you can assign you can highlight this and send this data to the uh, signal build uh, I'm sorry data inspector in order to discover this in dynamic mode if you'd like as you can see here this visualize your signals and um, uh, evaporative heat, heat transfer, radiative uh, convection and um, uh, heat flux between basin and, uh, and water uh, this is your uh, product this is your accumulated product 0.067 okay this is your product uh, water temperature inside the solar still uh, 39 uh, glass cover temperature uh, reasonable basin temperature yes nearly okay outlet temperature from uh, uh, from the solar still this is out outlet temperature let's see this uh, okay i think this should be returned back okay this is uh, outlet temperature okay there is a loop so this one is going to be recalculated again uh, in the loop here as you can see this one 
okay so i i therefore i used i have used the uh, uh, memory block because we have here a loop okay this is for a iterator i think there is no need for this one we can delete this one because we I just delete this one because we already have uh, uh, for a traitor outside here this one let's go inside and try to make another run okay uh, outlet yes this this completely good okay let's uh, increase this one up to uh, 500 and see I'm sorry okay so it's uh, adjusted itself uh, outlet uh, yes this is water temperature inside uh, uh, suppose I have let's control V here I'm sorry uh, let's go here control C going here and let's make another one and see I, I just I need to uh, uh, be sure okay outlet yeah, this is we have to keep this we have to keep this we have to keep this one okay and this is for solar field I, I will keep this one as uh, 200 okay and I have to keep this one for the solar still yes normally this one is fine uh, 38 degrees is just quite normal okay uh, so for this one uh, this is uh, uh, suppose I have to uh, let's go for for example uh, I, I would I would like to uh, select uh, a network let's go for the network connections so I going aside okay for network let's go here and adjust we have three in parallel okay mass flow rate should be let it be i i can't remember how mass flow rate here huh? it's point oh one let's go here for point one i'm trying to to uh, make the same uh, point oh one uh, five for example let's let's try this one and uh is there any okay the same under the same operating conditions same uh, watt, same uh, wind speed, same ambient temperature, and let's go for this one. Uh, uh, yes, elite solar field temperature, elite solar field temperature. Let's go here uh, for the first one. Suppose we have here uh, at 27. Okay. I think there is no effect of we have we we need to remove this because there is no effect on flow rate. Let's go inside from uh, the first the first two. Uh, okay, this one I think there is no effect on flow rate. Yes, so we have to remove this one. We have to remove this one. Control M. Okay, going here, and um, let's go here and flow rate. Uh, yes, make it remove enable disable this and uh, not to be not visible okay because we have already uh, let's see checking uh, control mask uh, mask parameters I'm sorry mask and uh, edit mask uh, going here I'm sorry uh, we can opaque with ports apply oh, okay this is uh, a mistake here we have to remove this okay we have to remove this from here uh, I swapped I'm sorry by mistake we have to this is ambient and this is wind speed okay and I think the same here the same mistake let's go here mask and um, we, we have to check we have to check and going to mass flow rates let's go for the mass flow rate uh, make it unenable and not visible again I have to check uh, I'm sorry okay let's go here there is, yes uh, we have to adjust uh, ambient and uh, wind speed this is ambient temperature and this is wind speed temperature it's the same for this one uh, let's go for edit mask 
click here hit apply going to parameter going to mass flow rate and disable this one okay okay so mass flow rate is connected uh, fine this is the error we have to remove this okay this is ambient temperature and this is uh, wind speed temperature and the rest is fine okay so now uh, we, we adjusted this we adjusted everything uh, I think we have to check this one also let's go here and uh, mask edit mask and uh, yes apply and there is no need for mass flow rate mass flow rate here yes it's disabled this one is, is correct yes this one is correct ambient temperature uh, uh, wind speed let's check this one uh, double clicking mass flow rate yes there's no existence for, of mass flow rate so let's go for edit mask and a uh, checking uh, it apply okay okay this is ambient and this is wind speed this this one is fine for this one uh, let's uh, check mask edit mask because ports okay okay this one is wrong we have to remove this connection here okay ambient temperature is here uh, I swapped uh, by, by mistake and when this speed should be here and the rest is fine if you go inside you will realize that let's go inside okay there is no uh, f uh, I'm sorry uh, for this one I'm sorry this one should be uh, the floor it should be uh, controlled here I think this one yes it is fine it is working fine okay let's close this one for parallel yes mass floor it is from outside uh, so from uh, the group so there is no floor rate here yes there is no floor rate and this one is there's no flow rate and fine okay let's go here and so we uh, adjusted our our uh, main input so a uh, flow rate is going to be divided over a uh, three uh, parallel connections which are in series which are in series and to be regrouped again okay in order to produce us outlet temperature and uh, flow rate this is the main flow rate which is intended to go towards to the solar field for uh, the complete process uh, let's go outside so this one we are going here selection I'm just uh, I'm checking um, yes for this one for so we are we are in this one let's check here uh, let make our run okay so the temperature is because of parallel connection is raised up to uh, 75 degrees Celsius let's return back to the source as you can see here so this is your main results so the productivity has increased from 0.06 up to 0.3 uh, nearly 0.35 uh, kilogram uh, 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 of water okay and uh, so this is very interesting uh, let's say checking our dynamic model I, I have to uh, click here I, I I need to check if I uh, let's go here okay uh, checking if there is anything wrong with the swapping between temperature and uh, wind speed yes there is a wrong so there is no need for okay so I will uh, save this as a dynamic model because I already re rectified this one uh, save as okay uh, let's save as, as as a dynamic model save as, as a dynamic model and saving yes okay now we are in, in dynamic mode so uh, all you have to do is to click infinity okay click infinity as I, I intended to change the, the operating conditions at constant feed okay uh, change changing the operating conditions solar radiation wind speed ambient temperature with respect to the time domain okay let's saving I will hit run waiting for the time and 
uh, let's be sure that uh, we are in variable step uh, okay variable solver okay variable step okay uh, we need to send our results to data inspector for example let's go here uh, we need to send our result to data inspector so i okay let's go here and uh, sending my result just highlight highlight your signals okay and click here and stream selected signals to data inspector and click okay and you can send all your data you would like from here as you can see here all you have to do is to just highlight your signal or just one click here and click on this one uh, you realize a small square here for uh, signal uh, visual um, let's go here uh, okay Okay, I, I will run and uh, try to uh, change the, the parameters. Let's hit run and see. Okay, let's hit run. Okay, compiling. Okay, now the model is, is in uh, running domain. Yes, now I am I am increasing solar radiation, increasing it, increasing up to, uh, for example, uh, 800. And let's return it back. Uh, let's return it back, okay, to, uh, for example, uh, 400 or 300 watt per meter square and click stop. Let's, let's go inside that inspector and see the effect on product. Okay, you can change this automatically if you would like. Uh, this is our run. We need just uh, uh, last run. Okay, last run. Okay, outlet. Uh, let's, we can add more slots. More slots. We can add. Flexible collector. Uh, no, thermal power. I I think this one. Oh, ah, okay, because we have three different solar field collectors, so I think uh, yes, this one. Uh, as you can see, here, thermal power. Let's remove this. Yes, this is thermal low power on the solar field and um, overall heat loss for example uh, heat removal factor okay let's go for the solar state yes uh, mass flow rate. yes this one this one is mass flow rate okay if this is the effect of solar addition of fuel productivity okay as you can see here uh, increasing because i increased the solar radiation and this time when I stopped a while for it, 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 the intention of decreasing solar radiation and it it, it takes the, the same behavior of your the sign curve but you can use a dynamic mode uh, in automatically it can work automatically uh, but this is manual manual uh, controller because uh, water temperature yes the same effect uh, glass temperature uh, okay, uh, base in temperature uh, or a heat. Uh, this is the thermal power. What, what is the efficiency? Uh, efficiency of the solar still. I, I need to uh, let's go and checking solar still. Uh, yes, uh, okay. Uh, you can, uh, it is not calculated here. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go for. Uh, um, radiation this is radiation yes radiation uh, in what uh, this is um, okay uh, convection you can put convection and radiation okay this is convection uh, okay so we can uh, uh, use your results also you can find your results outside here you can find our here you can you find your results here uh, but if you intended to add more results you have to go to here uh, model explorer and click and for example cost analysis and click on any parameter you would like and click description and save final value to a base workspace uh, for solar uh, collector okay you can choose which one you would like to uh, for example uh, and save final value to workspace which one you would like as you can see 
these are parameters and you can uh, select to add it to a uh, workspace uh, finally I would like to thank you very much for interest in our mo model don't forget to like share and subscribe subscribe don't forget that you can work this uh, uh, alone you can copy this or for example I, I can copy this one copy and click here and you can edit here okay and going inside uh, don't forget model explorer okay show model browser model browser okay going inside and uh, you have to disconnect this remove this because uh, and it's already here and don't forget as I showed in the beginning of my video and show uncomment for uh, these parameters okay and remove this okay this one hold shift okay and delete you connect solar radiation with its uh, ambient temperature okay and wind speed so now it is standalone application and wind speed now uh, feed L uh, I'm sorry uh, uh, let's go for L temperature I think the L temperature yes it is uh, okay and don't forget to remove this one I remove this action port okay action port also now it is standalone application there is no need for uh, or you can do this you can let's copy this one uh, this is outlet feed temperature and uh, we can name this as uh, we can name this as output outputs for example and uh, it, it needs um, uh, yes bus because it has two parameters here so we need to uh, to do the following one for temperature and one for uh, the uh, flow rate for example and uh, double clicking here and don't forget to show uh, the, or enable your parameters don't forget to do that uh, solar radiation you have to enable wind speed you have to enable uh, ambient temperature the same uh, cool. yes mass flow rate yeah okay hit apply now if you double clicking you can control this from here okay and suppose I, I can set your submission time into zero I'm repeating back again because I uh, I would like you to forget uh, I think this one uh, should be in diagnostics okay none none apply okay hit run and see okay there is um, a signal yes this signal here yes I think this one uh, okay uh, I don't know what is the problem oh yeah we have to remove this and add the first one is temperature second one is a flow rate and hit apply okay as you can see here outlet temperature mass flow rate and this is a standalone if you'd like to add another one you can do this you can do this it's quite normal uh, finally I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model don't forget to like share uh, uh, and subscribe uh, uh, thank you very much